Here, this here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we are starting off unboxing a package from Protein Picker Mix. That's really bright. If you guys have ever seen me unbox any sour strips, any like fancy monsters from America and stuff, like this one, I'm pretty sure this one's from Europe though, rather than America. But anyway, this one is the Ultra Rosa. It's supposed to taste a little bit like kind of candy floss pink candy floss, but I've never had it before. Very, very excited. Supposedly this is the dogs. But I need to put it in the fridge because, fair test, you know? <laughs> Name the song. I bet no one can. I guarantee you, nobody can. So, right now, it's about that time, people. I haven't done this on the channel for a while. Restocked my pill box. So, I started taking, back in January, I started taking vitamins. Obviously, started working with my protein in like October, November last year. This box is full of stuff in here. As you guys can see, obviously, I have these out on the table as well. Um, and what I was doing a few months ago was pretty much just getting the box out from up, up on my kind of supplement shelf over there. I was getting it down every day, I was opening every tub every day. I know this sounds ridiculous and the stupid things to be moaning about. Like getting one out, putting the box back in, getting another one out, thinking, oh no, wait, I need two of those. You know, like it was just getting a pain in the ass. And so I bought this pill box and it has friggin' changed my life. It's, it's a game changer. So now what I do is do 10 days worth at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, perfect. See, that's how often I do this now. Stick that in the top corner like so, and then just stack the rest. So at the minute, I'm taking this A to Z multivitamin. I'm taking these omega-3 fish oils, which I actually need some more of. I should have got some more in my monthly order. Two, three, four, five. Since I've started doing this, I actually used to kind of forget or just not bother before I started putting them all in this one, um, in this one kind of little pill box. Three, four, because it was such a, an effort, you know? Nine, ten, seven, eight, nine. And once you spend a couple of minutes, that's literally all it takes in one go. Stocking your pill box like so, we have glucosamine, there's vitamin C plus and D3 in there. The zinc, which I'll be changing to zinc and magnesium when I run out of zinc. Um, a to Z multivitamin, a uh, bunch of fish oils in there as well. Uh, and of course, I do actually have this 5-HTP, which I just keep in my bedside because it's a slightly different time. I don't want to take one of these by mistake, you know, they like send you to sleep. So I keep this separate to, to all of that stuff. That's going quite well, by the way. I will keep you updated. I'm thinking about doing a video um, specifically on 5-HTP. Obviously, I picked it up in this month's my protein order. So let me know in the comment section down below if you'll be interested in seeing that, because if you're not interested, I won't make it, it's as simple as that. So let me know uh, either way, guys. Uh, what I couldn't have told you, or should have told you before we started doing this clip, is this pink monster, which I'm sure the eagle eye of you have noticed is already here. You're thinking, Liam, you just said you're gonna put that in the fridge. Well, actually, this clip is at the end of the day, and the first clip was at the start of the day, but through the magical powers of editing, you didn't notice, it was seamless. So, we're gonna do the first crack of a, oh my God, I can't get into it, of a pink, Ultra Rosa Monster. Basically, this was like in the fridge all day while we were at work, but you didn't know I was at work because I didn't put it in the video, but the video could... Ultra Rosa Monster. Oh, that smells awesome. Damn. That is good. 
That is really, really good. Wow. Well, I mean, it should be, you know? I mean, four cans cost me 15 pounds to get them here, but like, that's really, really good. Monster, please work on getting this to the UK. ASAP Rocky, but for less than three pound a can. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> that cannot be comfortable, look at that. Good girl. Right now we are dipping in and out of the 167s and the 168s. As you guys know, I don't know why I'm doing that. As you guys know, we just ate muscle food for an entire week. One week straight. Nothing else. Just muscle food. Just the diet plans. Link in the description box. Uh-huh. And I really do think that that helped me kind of just... Just get back into it a bit, you know, just kind of get it going a bit, get that momentum going. And now I'm feeling good. I'm going to do some cardio once I'm finished here. I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk later. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good video. So I am excited and I'm excited to show you guys the next sort of 12 weeks or so in the run to the summer shredding competition. Obviously, body power is cancelled. That's a big no-no, and then this is a no-no. Of course, very, very disappointed about that. Um, gutted, in fact. Go and check out that video if you have not already. It's a couple down below this one. Um, but yeah, today we are doing an upper body, getting a full upper body pump, you know? A few of the lateral heads of the deltoid, a good little autism of dorsa in there, some chest and upper pectoral muscles. You know, it's going to be a good session. Going to get a good pump. I feel like I do need to clarify. That's my Arnold voice. It's meant to be my Arnold voice. It's just not very good, okay? Next set.
Done and done. So something I've always admired and something I've been working on for a long time now is the vacuum. It's a classic pose. It's something that I love and something that I really, really personally would love to master. So what I've been doing every single day is the first thing I do when I wake up, even if I'm brushing my teeth and I haven't done it, what I actually do is stand back, brushing my teeth like this, and then I just go, Suck my, I've just eaten, so it's really difficult. Suck my vacuum in, try and hold it for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds or whatever. You gotta bear in mind, if you're brushing your teeth and you have an electric toothbrush, it has a timer on it, so you can do it in between timers, right? This works for me quite well. Just gonna take this off because it's just around my neck. It's a friggin', it's that Nike headband that I bought. I've been wearing this a fair bit, actually. It keeps my hair out of my head when I'm working and stuff, but anyway. It's something that I would love to see in like one year, two year, maybe another five years, you know, just to see where I'm at. Because if you compare my physique now, at let's say we called this video 168 pounds, right? I look way better here, in my opinion, and that's all that matters. I look way better here than I did this time last year at 165. So I'm like a few pounds heavier here, but I look way leaner, way bigger. My vacuum is more pulled in, you know, everything, my face is just thinner. Everything is just looking better, and I know that's how it works, and that's how the gym works, right? You put on muscle, you lose body fat if that's your goal. I know, I get it, that's how it works, but it doesn't mean it's not exciting for me. One thing that I love about social media, the fact that I can look back at my, my fitness journey, my, my university life, all of this kind of stuff, I don't know anyone else that can look back Anyway, okay, let me rephrase this. I don't know anyone else of my kind of amateur level, if you like, that can look back at their entire lifting career in the same way, right? I don't know anyone else that can do that because I have made an absolute shed load of videos. A lot of freaking videos, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put you back over here where we just were. I don't know why I even moved you in the first place. And don't get me wrong, this time last year I was absolutely buzzing with where we were at. I was so happy with myself, so proud of myself, made all these transformation videos and stuff, and you see it all in one place and you're like, yes, you know what, I've, I've done all right. But that was at 165 pounds. We weren't even there for that long, right? And then we came kind of back up, went into a bulk. We didn't have long to bulk. You guys know the story, right? But that was at the end of last year's diet. That was as good as it got last year, right? That was the best. That was the pinnacle. That was the peak. We are better than that now. And we're not even halfway there. We still got 12 frigging weeks. We got three months left. We got 10 pounds to peel off, at least. How exciting is that? I have never done this before, guys. This is uncharted territory for me, and I'm friggin' buzzing to be bringing you guys along with me. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this before. I'm gonna take my time with it, and I'm gonna get it right. We're gonna get there in the end. I am friggin' buzzing. It's very difficult for me to explain, but having it all on camera, like on videos and stuff, although some of the old videos are crap, like if you fancy a laugh, go and watch one of my like first 150 videos, they're all terrible. Although the videos are terrible, the footage is the same, and that's the best angles that I could find at the time, the best pump that I had at the time, you know? And it's just, it's nice. It's nice for me personally to see the progression, and yeah, it's, it's just a good feeling. It's a bit bizarre and a bit weird. I know I'm talking to a camera about how my, my pectorals are a bit bigger than they used to be. But you guys get the point. It's just a, it's a nice feeling and I'm excited for, for the future. So, little side-by-side -side comparison for you there. Just be taking pictures if you're dieting and all this kind of stuff. Because on the days where you feel like you're not doing too well, you're not feeling too fresh, you're not feeling too shredded, you're going to need those pictures because you're going to want to look at them and think, yes, I've got this. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, please do me a massive favor. You know what I'm gonna say, drop it a like, drop it a comment down below, subscribe if you are new. I appreciate all of your support lately. Daily frigging videos still coming at you. So drop a like, take two seconds out of your day to help a brother out because the videos just do better if they get more. It's not a coincidence, they just do better. Why do you think every single YouTuber in history begs you for them because they do better? Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow and I will see you beautiful people tomorrow for the next one. <laughs>